generic greetings and welcome to Besiege. Today's beverage is a nice cup of tea, the generic non-offensive bog standard workhorse of a beverage. So Besiege is a game where you make all manner of vehicles and contraptions in order to complete objectives in the campaign, mess around in the sandbox mode and indeed do some PvE and co-op in the multiplayer which I've not yet tried but I'm looking forward to. It originally came out in I believe 2015 when it was a sort of free prototype and it quickly exploded and loads of people were playing it because well it was free but also it was very fun and indeed very very good looking with a lovely minimalist art style but I've actually find very relaxing. Either way, I have played it and enjoyed it throughout the years, but blah blah blah, five years later, here we are, version 1.0, it is now done with the standard caveat of that nothing is ever done, and indeed it's already been confirmed that more blocks are coming to the game. No, nevertheless, I thought I would jump back in and try this one again. I originally played the all of the campaign a couple of years ago, and all of the campaign consisted of an island and a half, I believe. So I thought I would jump in and continue that campaign. However, upon looking at it now in Ypsilon here, we can see that all of the campaign progress has been reset, so none of this is unlocked. So I thought it would be an interesting video to jump back on it and see just how much I remember, although medical professionals have advised me not to rely on my memory, and see how far we get, and also show you a bit of the game. So we're going to go to the very first map and it's the Southern Cottage. The game is essentially a physics puzzler. So we build things. It's telling us how to build over here and yeah, I think we can deal with that. So we'll build some vehicle. We'll probably put some blocks like so. You can see we're sort of snapping them together and when you click there it shows you like where things have been nailed in and we can go for a motor wheel and place them on here like so and then we'll ground the vehicle press play and then straight forward we crash through that because it's all about the destruction here and that is a zone complete so fairly easy the next zone is similar it's saying destroy this lighthouse here lighthouse no that's a windmill a lighthouse is normally near near the uh, sea let's press play on that one and all i've done is just put this sort of ram on the top there so when we go forward we fall over now that's not what i was originally intending let's make it a little bit longer and then that should do the job and then no let's try it again and that should definitely definitely do the job perhaps and yes there we go that is job done Obviously, because of the campaign, you will get all manner of objectives and things like that. It is recommended that you probably save some of your vehicles instead of trying to chop and change them every single time. Although I don't particularly mind that. But anyway, let's remove some of these here because we just don't need them. And this is telling us that we need to get over to that area at the back. And it's telling us how to steer. We don't need to know that. Let's actually go to Destroy Machine, yes. And I'm going to redo this thing. So instead of having the steering set like it is and instead what we're going to do is have it so i mean we could probably go we've got the steering hinge and we could probably make the entire back wheels turn but i think i'm actually going to make it i think i'm going to make it four wheel steering because that would probably be quite interesting wouldn't it we'll probably make it a little bit longer on there probably a little bit here and then we'll go for how do you want to do it one two three that's the wrong button Three, four, and then we'll put the steering. That's the wrong button. <laughs> there we go. That's now in. And then there. And then the wheels. It's a lot wider than I thought. Let's actually... Yeah, let's let's undo a lot of that. See, the thing is, you don't know, unless you've played the game before, what you're going to have coming up. So we don't know whether the next map will be good for your vehicle or not, whether your vehicle will be suitable. That. Crabs now. I mean, that sort of makes perfect sense now that I think of it. Because, oh no, it doesn't make perfect sense. But what's happened? Ground. Play. Press left. Yeah. Key mapper. Click that one. Right. Ah, oh, you can copy the settings now. And paste. Right, that's that. No. So key mapper, that one. Reset, auto return on all of these actually. Paste, auto return, and auto return. You can see you can set like limits on the angles, and there we go. Four wheel steering. Very manoeuvrable. We want to avoid these bombs, because... Ooh, 
that's very close. <laughs> yep, yeah, that was close. And uh, yeah, that's that's why you want to avoid the bombs. I mean, we could just go right round round the back. And ooh, sorry about that sheep. Yeah, that's lamb turn to mutton right there. Let's go around the back and steer in. Job done. So quite a manoeuvrable vehicle. This next one is oh perimeter wall. Destroy both the windmill, which is a land lighthouse, and this building here. I'm also seeing some arches. Now at the moment, we have no way of destroying that windmill. We put that on though. That should do the job quite nicely. The problem is that putting this on means that it is... Well, if I break, for example, yep, you can see that the center of gravity is calculated and we sort of start, well, tipping over. So what I'm going to do instead is crash into this thing first and then back up and get out of range of the archers. I'm guessing they have a range. Well, it doesn't look like they have a range, but they also they do have a flight time, so we can pretty much just outfox them that way. Excellent. Not too bad at all. Hmm. So this one says, kill 70% of everybody. I mean, that's more of a plague level of ability, but let's try it. I'm going to get rid of all of these bits on the top. The problem is that I can drive forward, and I can crash into things, but I will take damage. And eventually, yes, we will break. So what we want to do is probably start to make sort of maybe a bit of a battering ram type thing. So we can stop these shots coming in. Not only that, but I probably want to start armoring this thing up. We're currently on the basic tab, but we go to armor. And we can place, like, armor on these. That's pretty good. But what I might do is remove those. And remove all of the wheels, because under locomotion... We got some. Yes, we have got different wheels. We'll go to translate machine, bring it up on the other axis, and then put this on. One, two, three, four. The problem with this is I reckon these wheels are hit each other. They do hit each other. So we can either make the machine a little bit wider, or we can make it. Well, actually, sorry, make it longer would be the option, or we can limit the. Transition angle. I think what we'll do is just make it longer. Because if we don't have... If we have it... So we limit the... Traversing angle, not transition, uh, transition angle. My mistake. Um, that means that basically we will not be able to turn as well. And I quite like the maneuverability aspect. But I'm going to have to set these keys up again. Not there. That shouldn't be a problem because... If I go to key mapper, it should have remembered. It has. Just make sure it's the right ones. Auto return on for both. Play. There we go. And oh, you can tell there's a we got much more speed here. And oh, that's a that's a mine. That's a that's a bomb thing. And oh yes, that's done the job quite nicely. You see what happens though is that when we blow up. It sets fire at everything, and then all of the enemies get set on fire, and then they start running off, and then run into other enemies, which then set on fire, and chain reaction. However, it looks like we're not going to complete it, but only just. Only just. Okay, so back to here then. What we're going to do is do what I originally wanted to do, which was place some armor on this thing. So we'll have that go across there. We'll probably go... If I go straight across, that wouldn't be very good. Instead, we'll go around... Like that. Actually, you know, to there. And the Actually, no, no, no. Probably to there is acceptable. We'll do something similar back here. But what we'll have to do is sort of do that. Work across. And... Hmm. What I want to do, really, is nail those two together. So what you can do... There might be a better way of doing it now. But what I found previously is if you go for, say single like that and then a double and then you put the double in there can you see it like nails across nails through so that should hopefully be a lot stabler like that because it's going to nail the two together i don't know if that is the case but let's do that the problem with this is that already i can tell that this is going to be quite a heavy machine 
a lot heavier than I originally envisaged, but we are essentially making a tank here. <laughs> and that should do the job quite nicely. It's got probably a little bit of an issue when it comes to stability in the center. And there we go. So that's just made a big ram. Remove that. Single. Then the double there. And we'll try that. So play and go. So it's a lot heavier. But it's also causing a hell of a lot more damage. And we want to try and get out of this because we can't really meat grind them around the back. I mean, we can, but the problem with that is that they're hitting the wheels. So the sort of whole barrier thing at the front, it's not taking the hits like we originally wanted it to. And there we go. We've now done that. And we're going to put some distance between ourselves, enough to spin around. You see, the turning circle is actually quite good. And then we'll go straight ahead and crunch, crunch, crunch. There we go. You can see they are still trying to head towards me. There are weapons in the game. We haven't put them on just yet. And, oh, we have lost a wheel, but it doesn't matter. We've completed that. And next level. This one is to, what's this? Steal and deliver to iron ore. So I'm guessing... This is telling us to save your in yeah, your your siege engine, yes, of course. Now, we could just use a scoop, but I know that previously there was a grabber. In fact, there it is, grabber. Place a grabber on the front there, and play. So we'll go forward, and we'll press... Oh, it's actually sticking on straight away. But the centre of gravity is shifted forward slightly. So that's now on. Um, I think it was V. Yes, V. There we go. Wow, I can't remember... Can't believe I remembered the key for that. And I ah, seen that there. It sort of was going in the air for some reason. I think the wheels are hitting the armor because one thing that I never liked about the game and really hate about physics games in general is that. See, it bounces. It's not like a fully rigid connection. It's as if it's sort of glued on and there's a bit of flex there. So your vehicle sort of wobbles around. And that can make things more interesting, sure. But it always annoyed me in things like Gary's Mod, where you'd make a very intricate vehicle, and then it would just go like that, and it just really bugged me. And the same is true here. It would be nice if it was more just completely rigid and such. There's other games, like, um, like Trail Makes is one. There's a couple of others as well, where, where you make these rigid vehicles. But yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. I th obviously, with Gary's mod, it was probably limitations of, at the time, whereas not so much now. Anyway, that says destroy this thing over there. I mean, we, if we drive forward, can we just ram into it? Uh, no, we can't ram into it. And also, it seems to be firing a laser at us, and we're on fire. So that doesn't work. What I'll do then is remove that on the front. Let's go over to weapons this time. We'll see what we have. So we've got spikes, we've got blades, circular saws, drills, cannons. That's new. Shrapnel, no, repeating crossbow was new. Flamethrower was already in the game. Vacuum, I think, is new since I last played it. Water cannon certainly is. The bomb wasn't. Remote grenade and the explosive rocket, yes. All new. So we could probably put a cannon on it. The problem is that if we put a cannon on there, not only do we only have one shot, I believe, Yes, press C to ignite only one shot. The problem is elevation. We don't have any. So instead, we could probably, say, build a turret and put a block like that and use locomotion steering. You could put some steering on there and turn it up and down. That could be That is possible. You could probably do something with the wheel. You could go for a swivel joint. Oh, no, you couldn't because a swivel joint is non-powered. See, it doesn't say, they just say swivel joint, so it's not powered. But I think the simplest way of doing it is to put a steering hinge on there. Press R to rotate that. Go over to key map, we'll edit that. So to go... Well, it doesn't actually say. Left is 8. And right is 5. But it's not actually left and right because it's forward and back. We're not going to limit the angle. We don't need to auto-return. But we certainly do need to put a cannon on it. So, cannon... Rotate that around, click, ground the vehicle, because I keep forgetting that, play. So we should be able to alter that. Yes, we can alter the elevation, and fire. Straight away, and barely standing. Achievement. I'm guessing that's for not moving. Perfect. So this one is, use explosives to destroy 40% of that. Okay. So this is where I mentioned about sometimes when you go in different areas, 
the vehicle what you've made is not suitable. The chassis at, the, at this point is fine. The problem being that... Why is my frame rate capped at 60? I'm sure I changed it to 144. Anyway. The chassis is good. I'd probably save the chassis as like a heavy chassis. But we need to destroy that with explosives. We could have flight. have done that in the past. Some of these were not in at the time. I think wings and flying blocks were. Ballast and balloon perhaps, but aerodynamic propeller I don't think was. Automation blocks as well. No. So anyway, we need to destroy that with explosives. Well, we do have explosives in weapons. Boulder, flaming ball, a bomb. Explodes on impact. But the problem with that is if we place it... I believe, yes, it's not actually held. So, I mean, we do that. And... Well, I'm going to expect to win that. <laughs> I was going to then show you that you actually place, like, a holder on it. But, hey, I'll take it. We won. This is destroy 90% of everything. Knights, cannons, etc. Right. So, we're going to remove that. And we're going to go to armor. And metal plates. And we're going to start to armor this vehicle up. Which is going to make it a lot heavier, but I think having a big armoured front is worth it. I will also most likely start armouring up the sides as well. Hmm, can't really armour those up. But we can do that. It's not too bad. It's going to give us some protection. Better than nothing. On the top, I don't know what to put. But what I'm going to do... You can see there's a cannon over there. I'm just going to press play and see what happens. And just mow these down. Because it is destroy. Yeah, it is destroy. I think it was 90% or whatever. So we destroyed it. Simple. Don't have to go for 100%. I mean, obviously you can do achievements and all that. What's this one? Destroy 8% of the monument. Ah. So, a bit different this time. What I'll do then, similar thing, hinge, ball joint, spinning block, locomotion, steering hinge. I'm going to put this on the back, like so. In fact, what I'm going to do is put those three there, put bigger blocks in, back up the steering hinge, whoops, like so, and then cannon. Actually, you know what? We could probably just cheapen it out by having one there, one there, and one there. Single block, single block, single block. Right across. One either side. And then cannon. I still have to alter this. Not flight, it's in weaponry. Cannon. The problem is that these cannons fire at once. We can set it to fire separately don't know if it's really worth it we'll find out in sh we'll find out shortly won't we so copy that paste that paste that Oop. paste that play so vehicles in let's see what we can do and Good. Hit the right point. Excellent. Don't know what level we're on now, but I think we're going quite well. Highland Tower. Destroy 50% of the tower. Okay. That means... I don't think we can... I don't think the cannons will do it, but I'll give it a go. No. They didn't do anything. So the cannons bounced off. Completely. So instead, what have we got? Well, bombs is probably the way forward, but we need somewhere to lob it up there. Save. This is going to be G-Tank 1. So that's saved. And then we're going to remove all of this. We want a way to launch bombs. 
It's where we have to get a bit clever. And we have to make a trebuchet. Now, I think that's possible. In mechanical, we have contractible spring. Decouplers, pistons, sliders, etc. Ooh, so is, does the slider literally go... How does it work? Doesn't say. Um, let's try that there. Slider on there. And if I just play... Ah, so the slider just goes along to there. So is... See the shooting there? That's going to be a problem. I wonder if there's a way to make it longer. Or is that just... Does that just do what I think it's going to do, which is go like that? Yes, oh, that actually works, though. That works as intended. Well, yes, intended how we intended it to work, rather not how we want it to function. So what I'll do instead, I'm going to make a trebuchet. Actually, it wouldn't be a trebuchet. It's a catapult. It's going to be a catapult. Build it up like so. We'll have a swivel joint in there. We'll then have wooden block on the back. Before anything else, I'm going to test. If I press play, does it drop down? It doesn't. And yes, that's why that's breaking, because I didn't I've obviously messed that up at some point. That doesn't drop down. Why? Because... Okay. That side, I'm guessing. Right. That works there. Excellent. What we'll do then, go forward a bit to there, and can we rotate that around? Because it would be nice to rotate that first. No. I don't think we can alter that. We can't alter it. Okay. So instead then, there will be some more advanced building that I just don't know. Pre-build mode, new floor, no. Okay, go forward and to there. On the back, a holder. Oh, intersection. Ah, right, it won't do that because of the height of the vehicle. What we can do instead then is go down, then across. Then I believe we'll have to put one more on. And the holder. No, no, the holder will actually go there. So I can get rid of those. Extraneous. Surplus to requirements. Etc. That's now on. So if I press play, that'll drop down there. That's exactly what we wanted. Go to mechanical. Sh contractible spring. There and there. Hang on. There we go. And we'll edit. Key mapper. So L, strength of 10. And let's give it a go. Play and back up. And aim up. Yep. And then L. <laughs> well, that didn't exactly work as intended. Okay, get rid of that. Piston. Will a piston be better? Would a piston be better? Perhaps. If we just push it. Just didn't work. Hang on. How do you place it? Have to extend a piston while building or hovering over it. Whoops. Ah, I see. So that's it. It can literally do that. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to guess then that this is not going to function. Because we just don't have the power. Unless we put loads of springs in. Click and drag to draw between two points. There. Get rid of that one. There. 
There. There. There. And there. And naturally. There. <laughs> Undo. Is that fine? Undo that one. Did that work? No. Okay, that should hopefully work. Key mapper. Maximum strength. Copy. Paste on every single one of these. Oh, you know what? Toggle mode on. Copy. We'll do the lot. So, it hardly moved that bit at the back. But I don't know whether or not this will work. You don't know until you know, so I'm going to press play and press L. Right. It worked, but all it did is break this. <laughs> so, there is a there is a fix. We'll build that up to there. That's as far as we can go. And we'll put braces on. So, brace it to there. And brace it to there. Bit more strength. And that's it. Success. Genuinely didn't expect it to work. <laughs> um, let's see if we can get that bit quicker. Ah, oh, see that? If I press the go button as soon as we start, it doesn't work. Huh. You have to let it settle. Which is strange. Okay. I mean, I'm actually fairly happy with that. The fact that it blows up is interesting. Oh, do you see that as well? The arrows from them actually hit the vehicle. Forward a bit, and then there you go. Oh, why did that not work? Ah, oh, because... Yes, because we were rocking back and forward. want to make sure it do rocks back and then flip yes that's it that's the one i'm gonna try and do that a bit a bit better a bit better forward went to the rocks back and then yeah you get more power okay you, you would get more power if it didn't uh, do that so stop and then fling it that's the one job done excellent right that is a bit of the siege. I'm very happy with that trebuchet. It just shows that, you know, effort seems to work. Still, and deliver one wood pile. Well, there's the wood piles there. Oh, so we need to pick it up and then move it there. Alright, so this is just a, like a, we could easily do a lifter. Not with this thing, obviously. This is mm, more specifically about destroying things rather than getting wood and building but that's been a bit of besiege it's still as fun as i remember it's got a lovely minimal slat style it's got a nice relaxing ambient soundtrack it does still have a couple of niggles and i personally am not a big fan of things like well i don't know why i couldn't put that on the side there to to shore it up and make that work and i don't know why it just rocks around and stuff it's the nature of the beast i know but i would prefer things like more like the rigid body of it but anyway it is still very, very good fun and pretty much ridiculously cheap as well. I don't normally mention cost because, you, you know, you, your mileage may vary and such, but I think it's like six or seven generic units currency. It's really not much. Um, so, yeah, either way, links in the description. You can check it out yourself if you do so desire. I'm certainly going to be going through and playing more of the campaign because, as I said, it is just fun. I'm looking forward to building flyers and grabbers and trying out all this new stuff. I don't know if I'll get the automation stuff, but we'll have to see how we get on with that one. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this little mess around in Besiege. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.